our book, The European Central Bank Between the Financial Crisis and Populisms, which we wrote together with several colleagues, provides a thorough review of the Eurozone's monetary and economic governance since the Eurozone crisis in 2010. In particular, the book aims to derive useful lessons for future crises, such as the COVID-19 economic crisis, by learning from past experiences and especially the European Central Bank's forceful actions to prevent a fragmentation of the Eurozone, which has been celebrated on the one hand, but also has led to criticisms and a populist backlash. So given the handover at the top of the European Central Bank from Mario Draghi to Christine Lagarde in late 2019, we wanted to bring in an interdisciplinary perspective on what we thought was really a crucial period and decade for the Eurozone. And the reason we wanted to do that was that the Eurozone crisis was really more than just an economic crisis. It also led to a profound social and political crisis, which required more than one lens in order to make sense of it. We find that a key link between economic crises on the one hand and populism on the other hand is the question of democratic legitimacy. And we add to the study of legitimacy by adding an additional layer namely that of perceived legitimacy, which helps us to understand what went wrong after the crisis and perhaps also how to do things better in the future. And for that, I would very much encourage you to read the book.